doing? It's not what you're being paid for. Now go and finish your act. Look here, my dear girl, I told you to go and finish. What's the trouble? Should I know? I want to report a murder. All right for you. It's one minute. I'm telling you now. Things are going to snap. How long is it going to be? I always talk to my people. Talk to me. Policy. I'm telling you now. I mean it. I mean it. German ship. Bonjour. Ah, I've got. What have you got? Ah, better. Where's our point? At Javel on the warehouse case. I'm doing the Girard statements for the magistrate. He wants them this morning. Mm -hmm. Janvier. <coughs> He's taking a statement from a girl who's coming with some story. Mm -hmm. Are these people waiting out here? Anything to do with us? No, better. If this wind goes on, we're going to have rain. Yeah. You go. She yours? Ah, no, this is the girl La Pratt supposed to be questioning. He must have brought her in here to see you. He slipped off somewhere. La Pratt! What's it all about? She made a statement to the police in Montmartre. No, Brandt had it. I should think it's here somewhere. Here we are. Something about a countess. All right, Lucar, you you're busy. I'll deal with this. Well, I'll send La Brandt in as soon as you find him, will I you? most certainly will. Don't be too hard on him. You were young once. Mademoiselle? Mademoiselle? Can I go home? One or two questions. It's nothing but questions. Oh, my head. Please. Do you mind? Mm. Go ahead. No. I'll never get them on again. Ooh. Yes? You are Jean-Marie Marcel Leleu, known as Arlette. We're age 24, born at Moulin, living 42C Rue Notre Dame de la Red Paris, and working as a dancer in Picrat in the Rue Nova. Mm -hmm. I've said all this a dozen times since five this morning. Oh, when you went into your local police station and said, uh, I've come to report a murder, hmm? question who's a countess? When was it committed? Not yet. Really, mademoiselle, you must say a little more than that. Well, I have. I was sitting in the club with a customer after I'd finished my act. Which is what? I strip to music. Oh. 
Well, I heard two men talking at the next table. I could not see them because of the partition. But one was called Oscar, and he said, the Countess still has her jewels, but at the rate she's going, she won't have them long. We'll have to deal with her. Just like that. Then they got up and went out, and I could see that the man called Oscar was tall, broad-shouldered, and with a face like a boxer. After which, like a good citizen, you went and told the police. Huh? Did your companion hear this? No. What's his name? Albert. Albert. Was he a lover? No. He says he loves me. Will you? Well, I like him. Hmm. Well, I expect we'll find him. Oh, no. No, you mustn't. Oh, your story could do with a little confirmation. Well, well, no, it couldn't. Why not? I was very drunk last night. To ask anyone. I don't know what I heard. Where had you been drinking? Oh, around and then in the club. And when you'd had enough to drink, you went to the police and told them the story. So they say. But why? Because I didn't want to go home. You know how it is when you've been drinking all night. Well, you're now saying this story's untrue. If you like. No Countess? No, no, no Oscar? No murder? No. I suppose you know it's an offence to make a false declaration to the police. Yes. Well, I'll pay the fine if that's what you want. Just let me go home to bed. All right. Can I? You're not worth my time, or the magistrate. Next time you get drunk, think of some other joke to play. Don't worry, I've had enough of police stations to last. Thank you. Well, what did you make of her? I'm not sure. Oh, smells like a bedroom. No, yeah, not mine. <laughs> Funny, she was lying. A usual false alarm? No, no. Sometimes she was lying in the wrong places. I want... Any, uh, any report of any crime involving a countess put straight through to me. Ah, La Pointe, I want a word with you. All right, look out. Lucas tells me that he asked you to question that girl. Yes, I, I was going to. It was just that I remembered something downstairs and I went to fetch it. I'll see her now, shall I? She's gone. Oh. What's the matter? Are you shy or something? <laughs> From the way, perhaps. Hmm. Well, you'll get over it. In the meantime, don't go running off without telling everyone where you are. You're on duty all the time you're up here, understood? That's wrong. Well, go on. It's not the end of the world. Yes, Patron. What about some lunch? Oh, darling, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm trying something new. We'll be ready in a minute. I'll go and see if it's done. I want to know what you think of the chicken I got this morning. Got a lovely plant bird hanging in the shop. What? Mm. Smells delicious. We'll be ready in two minutes. Good. What's it going to be? Ah, you'll see. It's a surprise. I got it from a shop I've never tried before. What's wrong with Charlie, Don? He takes me too much for granted. Yeah. To do him good to see me go somewhere else for a change. Oh, no. Not just as we're going to eat. Send him away. Madame. Ah, Monsieur Luca. I'm so sorry, madame, but this is urgent. Luca, come Patron. in. Sit down. No place for him. Uh, no, 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 Patron, really. No, truly, madame. Uh, my figure. Ah. <laughs> Patron, there's been a murder. The Countess? No, the girl. Uh, 
I'm sorry, madam. Oh, tell him I will casserole the chicken for tonight. <laughs> All right, I'll put it. Uh, have a word with the concierge, if you can. All right, we'll all wait outside a minute, please. Hello, doctor. Strangled about an hour and a half ago. Seized from behind, by the look of it. Mm -hmm. Took her shoes off. What? Oh, nothing, nothing. All right, Doctor. I'll send it down to you. Thank you. Didn't see her come in. Anyone else? No, there are offices on the first floor. People coming and going all the time. How long has she been here? About two years. Is that her? Yeah. Studio portraits in a nightclub where she works. Yeah. Peak rats. Hmm. It's not these, though. These are taken by some amateur. Aye, aye, aye. Some amateur. Hmm. Not a word of them. She kept the place clean. Funny sort of girl to be house proud. Funny sort of girl to be murdered. I think whoever it was probably waited in there for her. Until she came back? Until she came back from us. She was killed because she came to us. All right, Lucar, you look after this end. I'll take a look at this Picrat's place. All right. Shot. Where's the owner? Sleep. Since when? Seven, half past. Mm -hmm. I'm his wife. Wake him. Why? Inspector McRae, criminal justice. Trouble. Were you here last night? Oh, of course, I'm here every night. I look after the cloakroom, cook if anybody wants to eat. So you would remember anyone who came in? Oh, pretty well. Alet? Oh, of course, she works here. Mm -hmm. Where did she sit last night after she finished her uh, dance or whatever it is? She's a dance. It's very artistic. She's had over there. Did she learn? No. With some boy who's been wasting her time lately. Name? Albert. Why is it him you're after? Not specially. What about the two men who are at the next table? There was nobody sitting at that table. Where were the two men? There weren't any two men. There was um, a big Dutchman here with a party, and an American over there with two girls. No two men. Well, who is Oscar? Oscar? Well, there's a butcher down the road called Oscar, a little chap with a moustache. Oh, no, this, uh, this Oscar's tall, broad-shouldered, face like a boxer. Mm. 
Ah, here's my husband. Morning, Inspector. Fred Alfonsi. Rick? Not now, thank you. Oh, it's glad if I can help the police. Make me some coffee there. He wants to know who was here last night. Can you tell us why? Arlette is dead. Arlette? Strangled in her room this morning. Oh, my dear. No, could do such a dreadful thing. Oh, poor Arlette. How did it happen? She overheard a conversation in here last night between two men. One of them called Oscar. It was about the murder of a countess. After you closed, you went round to the local police. They sent her to us. We sent her home. And there she was killed? Yes. By someone who knew her flat and waited for her. Oh, I have no idea that could be. Most of these girls take the customers home sometimes, don't they? Not during working hours. You lose on drinks. Had she a lover? What about last night, young man? Not bad. Oh, no, no. He always went home early, said he had work to do. Mm-hmm. What about you? What? You. Me? Oh, don't bother about Rose. She's not jealous. Oh, he's a terror for the girls, this one. As a matter of fact, once, twice, well, naturally. So you do know her flat? No. Never went near it. Out there, in the kitchen. Or upstairs. And you never heard of Oscar or a countess? Never. Should I open tonight? As you wish. And if you came, you could question all the others. Mm. I mean, we're trying to help you. Always been on good terms with the police. Who can this be? We're not a... That point? That's all right. I came when I heard, when I knew that she was. I, I came to tell you that your first name is Albea. I'd forgotten that. Hey, come sit down. Oh, thank you, Monsieur Fred. I expect you work to do. I'll find some. Quite irregular. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. There's nothing wrong with it. What brought you here in the first place? I was showing a friend round Paris. We ended up here. How long ago? Three weeks. It seems a lifetime. Yes. She wasn't what you think she was, Petron. What you thought she was this morning. She was different from the others. Would you have married her? Someday. If I could have got her away from here. If? In a way, she seemed to like it here. Or she was afraid to leave. She was afraid of something, I do know that. A man? Yes. Oscar? She never mentioned his name, but she was afraid. She had a false identity card, too. Had she indeed? So her name wasn't Lelure? What was it? I don't know. I'll let. Do you care for this? No more any use to us? Do you uh, still want to go on working on this case? Yes, Patron. I want to find the man who killed her. All right. Come on. Ah, Jean-Vier. Jean Le Le. Three years ago. Mm hmm I see. Yes, I think he's just come in. I'll tell him. 
Jean Vier's been on the phone to Moulin. Jan Lillard left her family three years ago and they haven't heard of her since. Neither are we. What? Arlette had Lillard's identity card. Oh, so Jean Lillard's the only name we have for Arlette. Yes. Ah. What else have we got? The concierge at the apartment said that a man rang up about two years ago and left a message to say that Oscar would be calling. Two years ago? She remembered it because he was the only man who ever did call. He was her only visitor. Whew. Big, broad shouldered man. Ah, she must have known other men. You, Carlo, photographs of our Take him around a short time or tell. There was Monsieur Fred. Oh, yeah. In the kitchen. Now, what about Monsieur Fred, hmm? And his wife? Well, she's a lot older than he is. That's why she lets him do what he likes with the girls. She's afraid of losing him. Oh. Arlette was the only one she worried about. She'd have got rid of her if she hadn't been the main attraction. All this from Arlette? Yes. She always told the truth. <laughs> Except once. In here this morning. There'll be some stuff on Fred. Get on the record, see if you can find it. That's all. We'll be back to Peacrats later. Do you want me to come along? No. Ask Jean Vier to get a description of this little girl. I want to know how she lost her identity card. Anything else? Yeah. Find me a big chap called Oscar, ask him if he's strangled anyone lately. <laughs> Take it, Luca. Did the press get the picture? Uh, they'll be out tomorrow. Hello. What? Hold on. Patron. Mm -hmm. An old woman's been found strangled in her apartment, Rue Victor Massé. Ma'am. Countess von Farnheim. I'll send my report down to the office. Who's this? Who are you? Uh, Dr. Casimir Bloch. And what do you want? She was my patient. She's mine now. Tell me, how did she die? She was strangled. Oh, then there is nothing I can do to help you. I shouldn't go. There may be someone you can help. The inspector, for instance. Uh, doctor, for a second. She's rock bottom. Who's he? The lady's medical advisor. Casimir Bloch. All right, Doctor, will you wait outside, please? Now, Phil. All right, sir. Do you want us all outside now? Yes, please. All right, fellows. All outside. One plain clothes man downstairs. Yes, sir. Don't stop anyone coming up. Leave the street door ajar. Right. Same as before? Exactly. By the same hand? Bruises are anonymous, but both were strangled from behind by a man of unusual strength. Or a woman? If she was as strong as a man. How old was she? Forty-five to fifty. What? She looks ancient. Notice all the bottles. And look at this. Ah. Done with this. Oh. Surely they don't usually drink as well. They'll do anything. Well, I'll be getting along. Well, don't send me any more tonight. I'm going out to dinner. Do you know anything about this Casimir Bloch? I only know about one of his patients, and that's enough. Send him in, will you? Right. You wanted me, Inspector. How long has she been your patient? Three years. And how long a drug addict? Fifteen years, so she said. Where'd she get it from? No idea. From you? Oh, no, no, no. Only twice in the course of a medical treatment, you understand. Mm. Anything else about her? Very little. Who is Oscar? 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 I do not know. All right, you can go. Oh, 
Oh, yes, an old sourpuss. She says she saw no one come in. I think she spends half a dime gossiping upstairs. She cooks for an old man on the top floor. She was taking him up his dinner, noticed the apartment was open, looked in, saw what happened, and called the police. What she know about the Countess? She'd been here about five years. Never went out, not many visitors. Any special ones? Long-haired young man who called her auntie. Auntie? Hmm. Look at this. Robbery the motive? The Countess still has her jewels, but at the rate she's going, she won't have them long. Luca, Arnett was right about everything so far. She told us the whole truth. Uncle. <laughs> Poor old auntie. She was murdered. Well, it wasn't me. I haven't been here for days. I say, do cover her up. She looks awful. I suppose you're the police, are you? Or are you murderers? Name? Philippe. Philippe what? Mortmar. My father is a professor at Grenoble, so you'd better be careful. <laughs> Not, of course, that he wouldn't like to see me in prison. Take your jacket off. Do what? Come on, do as you're told. All oh, right. I got pin cushion. When did you have your last shot? <laughs> you shan't say. Not long enough ago. Did you supply her? I don't have to answer. No, but you will. You can't. Take a look through the place. Stay here till the van comes for her. And take this lad down to the office and hand him over to Torrance. Put a call through to Nice, get some details of her husband and so on. After that, you can get some sleep. <laughs> and you, Pedro? Home, to dinner. After that, be crats. And who's this Torrance? Torrance? Mm. Oh, Torrance is horrible. He's twice the size of me, muscle man. Nasty temper. Poof. I won't like him. <laughs> he won't like you. <laughs> what will he do? Oh, ask you questions. No, I shan't know the answers. Nobody ever tells me anything. Not even ask her? Champagne, monsieur. Rather have a cognac. Monsieur, but we'll put the champagne on the table for the look of the thing. It's uh, compulsory for other guests. And a cognac. Are there any other guests? Oh, it's early still, but they will come. Oh, well, what about the Countess, sir? Huh? Oh, it's all over my mouth. She was strangled, wasn't she? Yeah. Strangled. Who do you want to see? One of the girls. Betty? Chief Inspector, make a criminal justice, dear. Yes? Now, answer his questions like a good girl. Hello, Inspector. You like something? Not yet. Francois will bring the glass for the look of the thing. Arlette uh, sat here last night, didn't she? Yes. What do you think of her? Funny girl. Drunk a lot. Many lovers. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Thread, of course, that's compulsory from time to time, like the champagne. 
Maybe one or two others. You know how it is up here. Mm -hmm. No one's steady, huh? Eh? Ariel Bell. She would have gone away with him. Did she say so? Anyway, last night when we were changing, she said what a fool she was and how she'd like to change everything. I said, you went this place. She said, if that was all, I wouldn't say any more, though. Strong, Mademoiselle. Used to be an acrobat. Try me. We're well matched, you and I. Hello. Is that Madame Boucher? Eh? This is a police inquiry from Paris. I want to know if you ever found posts for any staff at the uh, Villa Oasis between Nice and Antibes. The Count and Countess von Farnheim. Oh, yes, a long time ago, do you remember? Yes, I'll hold on, thank you. I found out a lot about the Count and Countess, Patron. Five years after they were married, the Count was found dead at the foot of the cliff outside the villa. Beer for three from the Brasserie Dauphine. Oh, not for me, thank you. No, for me. Verdict. Patron? On the count. Suicide, accident, murder. Oh, accident. Hello. Mm. Yes, madame. Yes. Ah, yes. Luca, I hope you feel better than I do. Yes, go ahead. Three <laughs> cuts. Yeah, very late. Bad champagne. Got Philippe in there? Yes, I took over from Torrance. Have you talked yet? Not yet. How is he? Nasty. Let the police know that we're holding Philippe Mortmart for interrogation in connection with the murder of the Countess. Mm. So far, he said nothing. I want it in the early evening editions. And tell narcotics about Dr. Bloch. Well, thank you very much, that beer? Madame. We're most grateful. Patron, I've got a list of the servants at the villa at the time of the Count's death. Hmm. Did you think of asking for that? Oh, uh, yes. Good. Anything interesting? Uh, yes, Patron. Amongst them is Oscar Bonvoisin, 45, valet de chambre and chauffeur. Oscar! Good. Oh, this is 15 years ago. Does she know where any of them are now? One of them, uh, Rosalie Moncur, the cook. She found her a job the other day with a South American family called Gomez. Uh -huh. The only trouble is they moved to Paris. That's not trouble. It's good. But we don't have their address. Well, be a detective. Find out. Now? This minute. Oh. Ah. jean vier has got a lead on the girl's identity. Mm -hmm. Do you have many questions? Many uh, calls? 32. But this was the only woman who knew Arlette had a birthmark on her foot. Mm, another? Aunt. She says Arlette is really Anne-Marie Trochin from Lisieux. Good family. Her great-grandfather was a General Trochin. Oh, the Lion of the Congo. Ah, yes, of course. Well, it seems Arlette was the alley cat of Lisieux. She was thrown out of a convent school, picked up by all sorts of men, was going to have a baby when she left three years ago. Sixteen. Mm. Did it live? Not known. Nor the father, I suppose. No, but probably not local. Arlette went to the Auvergne with her mother, who was taking a cure at Bourboul. Bourboul, hmm? Ah, that's near clermont Ferrand, isn't it? Um, thermal baths or something. Da Bourboul, here. Four months after she got back from there, she disappeared. Patron, I've had some luck. The Bureau de Logement knew the Gomez address. Surely should. No, but straight away, just like that. It's 132 Avenue de Jena. Good. Was Lee Moncur, huh? You know what sort of a cook she is? Irma, beat up those six egg yolks now. Say the whites. I'll use them later. Now, monsieur, yes. Not forgetting I've lunch for 20 in an hour. What are they having? Woodcock stuffed with oysters and my own sauce. Is that what you came to ask me? I uh, know, no. It's about the Countess von Farnheim. Oh, yes, I see. I'm not surprised. Did you, uh, did you work for her? After her husband died? Not for long. People I work for has to be in time for their meals and sober enough to know what they're eating. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Oscar Bonvoisin? Him, yes. Will you describe him for me, please? Big, dark, broad-shouldered, very muscular. Some people admire that type, but I don't, and I told him so. Oh, did he, uh, did he make advances to you? To all of us. Hated me because I wouldn't. But the others did. They did. And the Countess. Mm. Is he the murderer? Perhaps. Funny thing, I thought I saw him the other day. Where? Up in Montmartre, Rue Clignancourt. He was staring at me. 
And while I was trying to remember who he was, he suddenly turned and walked away. But uh, I could be wrong. Uh, have you seen any of the other servants since you left? Uh, Antoinette died soon after I left. Mm -hmm. Tried to stop a baby, his. I saw Maria not long ago. She's on the streets. <laughs> That's Oscar's doing too, I dare say. He was a terror with the girls. The very night they arrived, he'd be up to their room, bang, open the door, and there you were, one after the other. And he couldn't even be bothered to say thank you. Was he married? Well, not him. Uh. Oh, he had a mother in his hometown. He used to send her money. Yeah. Well, it was uh, in the Auvergne, near Clermont Ferrand. Pour boule? Well, you seem to know it all, don't you? Uh, merci, madame. Merci. Oh. <laughs> oh. Irma, hurry up with those eggs. If you make me boil this, there'll be another murder done. Thanks, Sophie. Ah, the point. Oscar Bonvoisin is the man we want. Jolvier has been through with the list of hotels Arlette went to with various men. Uh -huh. Description of the man? All kinds. Mostly a man who answers to Oscar's description. It's in the early papers as you want it. Well, Philippe? Yes, they'll be questioning for hours and hours, but so far he's told us nothing. When Oscar reads this, he realizes the danger he's in. There's also an editorial asking how many more murders there'll be before we do anything. <laughs> well, that depends on you. Me, Patron? Largely. Go away. Dress yourself up as an out-of-work labourer and report back here. I'm to follow someone? Yes, go on, hurry. Don't ever do it, no. No beard. <laughs> Bring him in. All right, Terence, let's have him. Come on, Andrew. Right. Come on, come on. Come on. Look, I... I will... I, 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 I want to see a doctor. I, I, I demand to see a doctor. I, I want to go to a hospital for treatment. <laughs> My father is a very important man. It, 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 it will be in all the papers if you don't treat me well. Where does Oscar Bonvoisin live? I want to go to a hospital for treatment. You, you, you can't refuse it. I have a right to it. I want to go to a hospital now. All right. What? Here's the door. Do you mean I'm to go? <laughs> no, it's... Look, it's, it's not right to turn me out like this. That's what you've been asking for. <laughs> Don't understand. I, I want treatment. You want another shot. All right, go and get it. Go and do what you like, but get out of here. Right, there's no need to push it. Not that going. door, that one. Send Torrance down with him. Now tell him to hold him at the door with some formality or other. Right, Torrance. Get down there. Good. I want you to stick to Philippe. You let him go? Yes. He's down at the door, though. Hold do we say. Now, don't lose him and telephone me when you can. Yeah? No, Picrats. Have you got a gun? No. Is he dangerous? Philippe isn't, but his friends may be. Ah, uh, here. Take this. You go, I'll pack you up. Off you go. Should we warn the other stations? No. No one. We won't be leaving Montmartre. <laughs> Now, up onto this stage. Smile. 
Think of the money. Right, look at us. Now, down to the waist. Good. Now turn around. Watch me. All right, dear. Dip off and get dressed. Well, do you think she's going to do? She'll have to. What do you think? She's not as good as Arlette. Of the same class. Better figure. Oh, she might just as well be drinking a cup of coffee. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'll have a word with her. Just look at that. I tell you, it's always the same with these girls. They don't take care of anything they haven't paid for themselves. How long have you known Fred? Fred? Oh, years. 30, 40, 50? Good. Oh, heavens no. He'd have been a child then. Yeah. Not that he isn't still a child, of course. Men always are, really. Don't you think? <laughs> Good of you. Oh, always glad to entertain the police. Never were in any trouble here. You see. Mm. See? We're well, right behind La Pointe. Philippe went into a house in Rue des Martyrs, but he didn't stay long. He's obviously looking for someone. Huh? He's moving along the street now towards you. Right. Thank you, Luca. Is this your headquarters? Yes, for the moment. I'm honored. I see they've let that young fellow go. Yes, did you know him? Hmm. Yes, I know most people in the quarter. Did you know that he drugs? Yes. Then to do with the case? Perhaps. Why do they do it, huh? So many good things in the world. You should feel sorry for those people. I'm sorry for the people they were. Well, there's never any of that going on here, and I don't see how Arlette became involved. She didn't. Arlette became involved with one of those men who catch a girl when she's young. It seemed to hold her under a kind of spell. She wanted to escape, but she couldn't. He did what he wished. She did what he wished. It was Oscar. Mm. Oscar, bon voisin from Beauboul. She was 16 when he met her, four years ago. A savage man with women. Some like it. Some. I'm hungry. Come on, don't let it go cold. The inspector's been telling us all about this Oscar uh, Bonfosso. That was the name. Of course, she had other interests besides Arlette. Now, this Countess, you mean, huh? Yes, once she'd been a chauffeur down in Nice. She hated her husband because he loved her and was old. Fell over the cliff to his death. Accident? Perhaps. But what if this chauffeur knew that it was not an accident? That knowledge would be worth money to him. More than money to this chauffeur. Power over a woman. I think he hates women. He wants to degrade their bodies and their minds. Perhaps he even trafficked in drugs to that end. Yes, but if he had this Countess just like that, I don't know why he wanted to kill her. Countess was out of his control. Beyond caring, a danger to him. Thought he might as well have the rest of her jewellery before she spent it. And he said so. Ah, do I let? Hmm. She pretended that she'd overheard him telling someone else. She said she heard it here. Was that a lie too? Okay. We're at the bottom of Rue Nordin. I can see the Bicard sign. He can't make up his mind. Turn away his cigarette. He's moving up the hill now towards Bicard. Oh, 
But if this, I, I don't understand. Why should this Oscar feel that way about women? I don't know. Perhaps his mother could tell us. His mother? Yeah, he had one. <laughs> so have we all. Do you think this fellow you've been questioning will lead you to him? Oh, I'm sure he will. <laughs> Customer? No, much too early. Where is he? He's gone right past. Up toward Boulevard Rosh Hashanah. Gone past? And La Pointe? Right behind him. Where's he going? Home. He lives at 26. <sighs> he looks for Oscar. He doesn't find him. He goes home. Yeah, perhaps Oscar will come to him. Yeah, as he did to the Countess. Will he wait for him as he did for Arlette? Luca, we've got to get there first. My apologies, madam, for everything. Here, you better finish this. You've got to keep your strength up, you know. Yes, that was our way. Thank you, LaPointe. Forgive my colleague's clothes. He's been working. It is done. In that case, a bottle. Well, I must Number you. four. I, I still prefer a cognac. Ah, monsieur. It's not the ordinary stuff. It's a special cuvee, and besides, Monsieur, you know. Ah, yes, the look of the thing. <laughs> ah, 
just in time.